Hello everyone, I'm Mohamed Uzefa. How are you friends? I hope you will be all fine. Friends, today, yesterday I told you about the story of Prophet Isaiah A long time at last after the death of Prophet Isaiah the people were now being led by Prophet Uzair They loved him very much and followed his teachings essentially. Let's get started but first if you like to enjoy this video give us like and share it with your friends press the bell icon and if you haven't already click the button below to subscribe our channel. Now listen carefully. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim The story of Prophet Uzair a.s. Prophet Uzair a.s. was a saint and a wise man. He lived after Prophet Suleiman a.s. and before Prophet Zakaria a.s. One day as usual, the Prophet was going to visit his farm on his donkey. By around noon, he came to a small town that was ruined a long time ago. All that he could see was the collapsed buildings, dirty walls, and well, a lot of human bones. The Prophet had been travelling all morning and the skin was scorching hard now. So he decided to take a rest in that town. He got down from his donkey and sat under the tree. He was very hungry. So he took the figs and the grapes he had in his basket and started eating them. He sat there for some time and then he stood up to see around. He saw that the walls that still stood up were very old and shattered. He thought that they could fall down at any time. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heard what he had just said. He got angry and decided to show the Prophet his power. He sent the angel of death to Prophet Uzair al The angel of death took the Prophet's life as he had been told. The Prophet laid there lifeless for a long, long time. It is said that the Prophet lay dead for about 100 years. The Prophet's donkey died in the meantime. And lots of things changed during those 100 years. One day God decided to wake the Prophet from his death. He sent the angel of death again to the Prophet. For how long did you sleep? asked the angel. It was late afternoon and the Prophet had gone to sleep early afternoon today. I must have slept for a day or part of a day, he said as he was confused. You remained asleep for 100 years, said the angel. The prophet was shocked to hear that. He realized that it was by the power of God that he came back to life. The angel then ripped off the prophet's donkey as well. The prophet then started traveling back to his home. When he reached his native place, he was surprised again. The whole town had changed by now. There were new shops, new streets, and he could not recognize any more. And when he reached his house, he could not recognize anybody there either. I am Uzair, he told them again and again. But they shook their heads and told him that they don't know him. He then went to the crippled old woman sitting outside. He realized that she was blind as well. Isn't that the house of Uzair? He asked. Yes, it is, she said. But people have long forgotten about him. He was gone around 100 years ago. The prophet realized that this was that old woman actually his maid during those times. I am Uzair, he told her. Allah has taken my life and now after 100 years, he has returned to me. The old maid was able to recognize the voice, but she was not sure. So she told the Prophet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to answer Uzair's prayer. If you are Prophet Uzair then pray to Allah that I might see 
and prayed to see the book they thought was lost. The leaves of the book had rotten by now, and the book itself was crumbled. Prophet Uzair salam sat under the shade of a tree, surrounded by the children, to copy the book. He carefully copied the words from the script and made a new book. You know, my friend, Prophet Uzair salam died when he was 40 years old in Israel. And okay, friends, inshallah, I will see you again with another story for you. So please take care of yourself. Allah is.